Hello, my name is Paul, and I'm with Logix Magazine. We're going to take a few minutes and talk about the difference between certifications versus degrees and which is right for you. So you're probably asking, between the two, which is the one that the employers want because they're doing the hiring? You know, there really are only two paths. But one of your primary con concerns is to determine which path will guarantee you a great job. For those of you looking to automation robotics career for an opportunity, they're going to find a shortage of qualified applicants for jobs that offer worldwide travel, the excitement of working with cutting edge technology, million dollar project leadership opportunities, and a high five and six figure income as a pretty appealing career path. You know, the shortage is due to the rapid growth in automation technology. So certifications versus degrees. Let's take a look at uh, the computer programming industry and the somewhat controversial programming boot camps. Some say the boot camps produce a more skilled and experienced programmer, and that the programs also produce a computer programmer 94% faster than a four-year traditional college would. So does the industrial automation industry have such a solution? Well, in fact, many would say we do, as there are hundreds of seminars and hands-on training programs on everything from PLC programming to robotics to industrial networking. Let's keep in mind the flood of online training options available to anyone as well. So let's take a look at certifications. One thing is for sure, about 30% of the professionals in this industry are working without a degree in the automation and industrial robotics field. So keep, keep in mind that those who enter this field, this career field without a degree, may need many certifications to even be considered as a serious job applicant. And they will also need to accumulate a portfolio of successful projects with references as well. In short, they will need to commit to acquiring years of on-the-job training, certifications, and hopefully mentorship under a highly qualified professional before, during, or before earning a six-figure job. Now, for those who seek to pursue the certifications path, an entry-level path is available. With a few certifications and the right timing, you can find an opportunity and hopefully a highly qualified mentor as well. Now, the degree path. While this path is a tried and true path to practically any career, it also has its detractors. For one, it takes on average four years to complete. In addition, it's outrageously expensive. It more often than not also does not produce a highly qualified professional, nor does it often help the student acquire very much real world experience. Some students are able to take advantage of an internship where they can begin uh, to network, build contacts, and gain some real-world experience. However, the level of debt that follows almost every student takes at least 10 years, minimum, on average, to pay off before leaving school or after leaving school uh, to pay it off. So, which is the best solution for you? You know, no one can tell you which path is best for you uh, to follow. However, Issues like location, cost, you know, your family situations, those tend to be the leading factors in most decisions. In addition, the opportunities you decide to pursue and technology demands in the market generally also influence and or dictate the qualifications required for entry-level professionals. With all that being said, I recommend a combination of them both. As you pursue either certifications or a degree, keep in mind that some of the best training won't be the local college and will only be received via a seminar or other hands-on training class. While colleges often offer excellent classes that you can take to complement your learning, the best path, which will guarantee you the best employment offers, is to always be learning and building a portfolio filled with projects you can, show, uh, you can use to showcase your knowledge base. In short, the best answer would be to pursue a balance in your education with college credit building courses, industry recognized certifications, and hands-on experience from workshops. Because your learning plan should start at, uh, with high level goals, remaining, gaining real world competence, remaining flexible for an, an ever uh, changing landscape, and collecting the assets to showcase your experience. All right, so I hope this has helped you a little bit. Um, if you like what you hear, you want to learn more about the uh, paths uh, to a high five, six figure job that gives you the opportunity to travel the world, work with cutting edge tech, lead million dollar projects, um, continue to, to stay in touch here with Logix Magazine. 
uh, subscribe, hit the subscribe button. You guys know the routine. Hit the subscribe button, ding the bell, and stay in touch, all right? So this is Paul Gaudius with Logix Magazine. We'll talk to you soon.